Today I am bringing you the top 4 unlimited ammo glitches for Call of Duty Mobile Zombies. No, not the RPD. Now you can get into these 4 spots and have zombies pile up with an ammo crate right there anytime you need at your disposal. For all of these spots, um, this door that you are looking at right now should stay closed. It's basically the door with the flogger trap. You want to make sure that that one stays closed and before anything else, you want to make sure that you fully set up for the game so get all your perks and get all your weapons because the only way out is opening the door or dying. So get your perks, back punch as much as possible. The only reason that you can back punch is because the first two areas that you open will have parts. So just open the areas that you don't need to do the ammo glitch at and you're all set. Also, Poltergeist I found makes this glitch easier to perform. Um, so take that information while you try this. I've been getting a bunch of people ask me how to make this easier and easier every time I post a video. So try the Poltergeist out, that might be able to help you guys. Once you're all set up though, get to a dog round and then come line him up right here by the door like you see in the video then you can activate your poltergeist to give yourself more time but just jump on the drop and jump to the door and then you can go behind the door right here and all the zombies will come to the door or if you're standing by the ammo crate they'll actually come stand right in front of you which is a little bit better to be honest in my opinion but um you're invincible over here you can go by ammo one thing to keep in mind with this spot is if you go too far back these zombies will spawn in the area with you so um you kind of will just throw the glitch off if you go too far back so do not do that but this is the best spot in the video in my opinion because it's definitely the least risky however you can do the other three and still be really really effective also for the rest of these spots we will be going from the door that you just jumped on from the dog to the trap um, which I have made a bunch of videos on already. And once you're on the trap, you're going to jump on top of the zombie spawn and then on top of the map. From here, you can drop down into any of the unopened areas of the map, which makes four in total. However, one of them, you are going to have to go under the map and then kind of like climb up under the water. It's a little bit confusing, but you're going to see in the video how to do it. The second spot in this video is very, very effective, just like the first one, because the ammo crate is still close enough to not really disrupt any zombie spawns. However, for spots three and four, going to the crate will make the zombie zombie spawn with you so to make sure this doesn't happen just let every zombie spawn in I'm not sure the exact number but on console there are only 24 that will spawn in at any given time and then just go buy ammo and set back up yeah like I said spots 3 and 4 aren't as great because the zombies will spawn in with you if you go to the ammo crate but you can do it in between rounds or just let all the zombies spawn in and then go to the ammo crate really fast and then you're all set ready to go again i know you guys know probably about the first spot but i wanted to make a top four just to let you guys know that you can do this in other spots just so that if you guys wanted to try other spots to see if it might be able to go faster i know you won't be able to use this for leaderboards but i still have to say i don't recommend going for leaderboards with this because you possibly will get banned but it is a very good way to grind out the battle pass if you're trying to complete it really fast but with that i will head out hope you guys do have a good rest of the day if you guys are new make sure to drop a like on the subscribe to the channel because it does help me out a ton but i will see you in the next one peace